Hello, I'm David Roger, General Counsel for Las Vegas Police Protective Association. An officer asked this question. Uh, does an officer have the authority to make an arrest for misdemeanor domestic violence, uh, a misdemeanor that did not occur in the officer's presence, after 24 hours have elapsed since the time of the incident? And the answer is no. And I'm going to take you through a, a series of statutes, uh, and these statutes are also reflected in Metro's policy. And so NRS 171.124 is really the statute that gives you authority to make arrests. And as you all know, uh, you have the authority to make a, an arrest of an individual for a misdemeanor which occurs in your presence. And so that is the statute that gives you the authority to make a warrantless arrest, a probable cause arrest for a misdemeanor occurring in your presence. Uh, a subsequent statute, NRS 171.136, talks about when or, or the time in which a, an officer may make an arrest. A and that statute uh, provides that you may make an arrest at any time, day or night, uh, for a misdemeanor that occurs in your presence. You don't need a warrant. You can make an arrest of an individual for that misdemeanor at any time so long as the misdemeanor occurs in your presence. And parenthetically, uh, obviously if a domestic violence, uh, domestic battery occurs in your presence, then you don't have to worry about it. It's a misdemeanor that has occurred in your presence. So here is the statute that has caused some confusion. NRS 171.137, and I'll provide you that statute. And that statute says that an officer shall, uh, unless there are extenuating circumstances, uh, make an arrest uh, for a misdemeanor domestic battery, even though the domestic battery has not occurred in the officer's presence, if uh, the domestic battery occurred within 24 hours. And so that's why when you go and you take a, a report uh, from a victim who says that he or she has been the victim of a domestic battery, you put in CAD uh, what time you took the report uh, so that other officers who, who may come across this individual uh, know when the 24 hours starts and ends. Uh, and so an officer said, well, I, I was told that even though 24 hours has elapsed, uh, I still have probable cause to make a, an arrest of an individual for misdemeanor domestic battery, even though it did not occur in, in my presence? And the answer is that is, is false. And so to kind of recap, uh, NRS 171.136 says that you can make a, an arrest of an individual uh, who has committed a batter or a misdemeanor in your presence at any time. Uh, but uh, 171.137 says that you shall make a, an arrest of an individual who has committed domestic battery, not in your presence, within a 24-hour period. Uh, but if you don't find that individual within 24 hours, uh, you can't make a probable cause arrest. That, that doesn't mean that uh, you can't go get uh, an arrest warrant for, for the individual, but a typical patrol officer isn't going to go through that process for a, a misdemeanor. Um, and then finally, the next question that might pop up is, well, what if the victim wants to make a citizen's arrest? Uh, well, I, NRS 171.136 uh, provides that a citizen can make a citizen's arrest if it is a misdemeanor in their presence, and it is immediately after the offense is committed. Uh, so if you go, you take a, a report for a domestic battery, uh, you can go and make that arrest within 24 hours, but after 24 hours ha has elapsed, you no longer have the authority to make that warrantless uh, arrest of the individual. I hope that this, I've been able to explain this to you clearly and it provides uh, you and maybe some supervisors some clarity on uh, how long you have to make that misdemeanor domestic battery arrest. And as I said, it's also 
it reflected in policy. Thank you. If you have any questions, please contact me at droger at lvppa.com. Thank you.